a bunch again. So I'm, I'm really psyched on that. Um, I honestly been taking a break from videos and just working and riding my bike as I once did before. Before I really started all the YouTube stuff and uh, as a lot of you guys know, it's my first passion. It's, it's what I really truly love to do in life, like overall, over everything. I love the cars, the cars are super fun. Um, but, but bikes, something about the bikes. Um, so, you know, that, that's just what I've been doing. Uh, we got Jesus's car done and uh, I'm actually gonna probably be tuning on it sometime within the next couple days. And uh, we're gonna be doing the first drive for that so everybody can see and uh, kind of give you the rundown on the Holly and how it works. Come look at this. So this is just rubbing here. That's the. Did metal. you see that? Yeah. That's the, all this metal is just the shit. <laughs> Will they tighten? I don't know if they'll tighten. Okay, guys. So um, I I decided to take this diff apart. I've never taken my old diff apart. Um, I knew there was something wrong with it, so I just ended up opting to buy another diff. What I found inside was wild. Um, I think I thought the diff was toast, but I actually don't think it's completely broken. Somehow, the posi track in here, the original posi in here came loose. So I'm gonna see if the bolts will actually tighten back um, tight, but uh, I think that was what the metal was. And initially I broke it, I thought I broke it from doing burnouts and stuff, but I think the metal was from the bolts backing out and then rubbing on the outer right right in here but you, you guys see that do you think the bolts are broken it is possible well yeah look like literally i'm gonna spin this over like all of them See that, guys? So it's not getting, I think it's getting stuck on here. Yeah. Um, I still can't believe uh, the car got me home. <laughs> but, uh, you know, maybe I just weld this one up. If I take it all apart and just weld it up and then uh, call it good, go send it again and go have some fun, some slide, some slide sessions in the GTO. That's the deal right now. The good thing, the good thing for what we do here though, as you guys know about all the EPA crap, is we buy and sell motors. So we're not doing any tuning except for maybe some small changes. We're not tuning any customer cars or anything like that. But uh, yeah, so happy modding to everybody. We're, let's continue to mod and build race cars and uh, go from there. But yeah, look at all of this nastiness. Look at all this metal. Nasty. So I probably should have did this a lot, a lot sooner, but um, at least I'm doing it now, so I know. Um, I would like to have an extra diff. Um, so most likely we're gonna do a true track in here or something. So 
or well the diff like I keep saying. We'll see what's up though. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure what I want to do just yet. Alright guys, we got down to the the middle of it. Alright guys, so um the actual case of the diff broke. I thought I just broke the screws, but as you guys can see that we had to loosen this outside piece here and uh the actual case is broken and once I loosen this outside piece um, you can see a chunk deep in there that's just sitting there but what's amazing and I was telling Jesus here is this thing got me home <laughs> which I don't know how but yeah this this whole cast piece is broken um, I don't know if you guys can see in that hole or not but there's chunks in there too so I'm very curious if the spider gears got toasted as well. But uh, worst case scenario, you know, we just get an Eaton True Track or one of the eBay ones. I'll show you guys a budget diff build. And uh, yeah, the ring gear looks good. I gotta see like if the pinion is still good on the backside after this all comes apart. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's a good candidate for a full build. All right, so I was showing spider gears are all toast. I know this is not the right way to do this, but this is a broken diff, so I don't care, super care, but you see the case is all carnage. And this looks like Conor McGregor after he fought Nate Diaz the first time. <laughs> Yup, piece by piece, this thing is coming about. Moral of the story, don't drive a GTO on street tires. Even though I'm still doing it right now. Don't drive a GTO on street tires, you said? Yup. <laughs> this is what happens. You guys want this to happen? Do a burnout on fresh meats, fresh street tires. This is what will happen to you. Especially if they're grippy. Now, if you got some some burners, all good. Do what you please. But I honestly think I'm gonna use the eBay, the eBay LSD, slap this back together and cinder. Sound good? Yeah. You should. I mean, I mean, it's only like 400 bucks versus 800 bucks for the yeah. Eaton. And you know, I'm I'm really tired of spending a whole lot of money on a lot of stuff. So. My cheap stuff, I never broke a diff on cheap stuff. I broke a diff on the expensive GTO stuff, so. It is what it is. Well, there is a ton going on nowadays. Um, I'm gonna put the link in the description, but uh, everybody should go and sign the RPM Act just so we could keep our race cars. Like, that will, if all the EPA stuff goes through, that keeps me and a lot of other people who post videos or do any kind of car work, um, specifically modifying from modifying cars. Um, you know, the, there's a lot that goes into this. I mean, I, I pretty much made it my job now. Like, it's not just me filming videos for fun. I actually do this for a living. So um, this really, really affects me. And in all honesty, I don't want to go back to doing what I was doing before. Like, I really enjoy what I do. So, um, you know, this is kind of, kind of a crazy time. Like, definitely sucks. But uh, let's see how it goes. And hopefully we can, you know, keep going, keep pushing forward. If not, we're, we're building just straight race cars, I guess. And uh, non-registered chassis and with non VIN numbers type of thing. But um, hopefully it doesn't result to that. I, you know, we love our street cars and uh, that's about it, guys. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of everything that's going on nowadays. Um, hopefully it doesn't affect us, but um, yeah, that's really all I gotta say about it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Time for games and it's the time to kill Make up your mind baby cause the time is here